is up there everybody, Citrus Aviation here for yet another video and today we have the Atlanta Hartsfield Jackson Model Airport video for April 2023. It's been a couple months since I've done this but uh, here we go back to Atlanta and we're starting off right away with a brand new model here. This is the Delta A330 Neo in the Team USA livery by Gemini Jets. I finally got myself a Delta A330 Neo here in 400 scale. It's the exact same model I have in 200 scale, but in 400, so it's really cool to have this one added to the collection. It's a really good model, and these aircraft do fly into Atlanta. Now, recently I've mentioned they've been flying to Rome, but instead, they are now, as of April, flying to Amsterdam. So this aircraft is about to head off to Amsterdam. It's a once-a-day turn, and it's really cool to see this service. You'll see a detailed video about this model coming out in the near future. Next up, we got the United Express ERJ-170. This aircraft will be heading out to Houston George Bush Intercontinental, and it came in for Washington Dulles. I mentioned Dulles because that is where I got this aircraft being photographed coming into, I believe it was T-21 in Atlanta, taxiing in. And I got a picture of it and put on Jet Photos, my first Jet Photos picture of the year, and I'm really happy to get a super cool picture on Jet Photos, my first picture year of a United plane. So, really cool. Next up, we've got Delta 737-800 that came in from Omaha at Play Airfield and is currently in line for departure out to Newark or Hawaiian Air 2121's airport. Yes, I do have some subscriber routes in this video. I don't think I have all of them, but uh, if you want a subscriber route, it's pretty simple. You need to have an airport of your own that you do that has realistic routes that fly to Atlanta, and then we need to have the same aircraft. Because I have so many Delta models, it's pretty easy to find one that you have that I have as well. Next up, we got the Air Canada CRJ-900. These are now flying into Montreal, which is really cool to see that there is direct source between Montreal and Atlanta now on Air Canada. So great new source to see there. Next up, we got the Delta 737-900 that came in from Charleston and will be going out to Pensacola or Red River Aviation's airport. The Southwest Boeing 737-800 came in from Columbus and will be going out to Chicago Midway. The Flying Pencil 757-300 came in from San Diego and will be going out to Minneapolis. This Delta 717-200 came in from Jackson and will be going out to Little Rock. And this Delta 717-200 came in from Des Moines and will be going out to Tulsa or Red River Aviation's airport. The United Max 8 is here on the Newark Town. This Southwest 737-700 came in from Dallas Love Field and will be going out to Indianapolis. The Southwest 737-800 is being fueled up for a flight out to Baltimore and it came in for LaGuardia 30 minutes ago. Here we have Missouri 1, which is one of my favorite Southwest state lorries. In fact, it's my second favorite behind New Mexico 1. Still waiting on someone to make New Mexico 1. Please do. NG, Gemini, Panda, whoever, please make it. But here we have uh, Missouri 1. This aircraft came in from Washington Dulles and will be going out to St. Louis. Really cool that Southwest has sold to Washington Dulles, which I believe competes with United, and I want to say Delta has stars there. I'm not sure. I know Delta has a lot going to DCA, but I'm not sure what they have going to Dulles. Here we got a Southwest Max 8. Surprisingly, a lot of Max 8 services now out of Atlanta. I was surprised by that when I saw it. Like, they're doing a third of their flights on the Max 8 now, which is kind of cool. But this aircraft came in from Fort Lauderdale, and we're going out to Columbus. The final Southwest aircraft we have here in the lineup is a 700. This aircraft came in from Richmond, and we're going out to Kansas City which is their brand new airport that I'm really looking forward to giving MCI a try here in the near future and seeing how the airport is. Here we have a Delta A321. This aircraft came from Austin. I'll be going out to Denver. Here we have the Alaska Max 9 in the Pacific Wonders livery. This aircraft seems to be perpetually parked here, but yeah, this aircraft came in from Seattle and we're going out to Portland. Really cool to see this aircraft. KLM has brought their summer seasonal up gauge to Atlanta. Here we have it. The Boeing 777-300ERA once a day service from Amsterdam. Really cool to see this aircraft come in. This is the exact aircraft that I saw in Atlanta when I was playing spawn there in September 2021. So almost two years ago. But yeah, this is the KLM Asia 777-300ERA. I believe a, this is Papa Hotel Charlie PHC. Uh, it's the exact same one that I saw in Atlanta. It's so cool to have a model of the exact aircraft that I saw there. And now, the 300s are back in Atlanta, so really cool to do that for the Model Airport video. Here we have a Delta 767-400. They're just finishing loading up the pallets here. And then this aircraft will be heading out to London Heathrow, and it came in from Munich earlier. 
It's really cool to see Munich service back here for Delta on the 767-400. There, there's a ton of service for Delta out of Atlanta right now on 76s. There's been a couple of fleet changes, which we'll talk about more. But in terms of 767s, the 400s are doing about the same amount of service they were before. And then the 300s are doing so much out of Atlanta. There are so many 767 300s flying out of Atlanta now. It's kind of ridiculous, but a ton of 763s. I just don't happen to have a 767 300 here right now. Hopefully I can get my the rest of my models from, from Des Moines here soon. There's about 150 of them left I need to bring over. And then I'll have the full 415-ish collection here in Cleveland, which would be super sweet. But yeah, cool model. Really nice to add this to the collection that I did uh, several months ago. And I like the model. And it's also just really cool to have 764. These are very unique aircraft. And Delta has a bunch of them. And most of them are out of Atlanta. But the 300 is more common now. So it's interesting to see that fleet shake up. And we'll talk about the A330 fleet shake up. The first of many 752s. This one came in from Richmond. I'll be going out to Montego Bay. Really cool to see Montego Bay service return to Delta Airlines here to Atlanta. And it's really interesting to see the 757s solving Virginia. That's right, Atlanta to two destinations in Virginia are sold on 752. You have Richmond and Norfolk. We'll see the Norfolk route here a little later, but it's really interesting to see this service. Moving on to a little American Eagle section. Here we have a 175 that came in from LaGuardia and we're going out to Philly. Now the Philly flight is usually on a Republic 170 and not one of these Envoy 175s. But you will see some 175 still operating to like LaGuardia. Here we have a 737-800 going out to Dallas. As far as I can tell, this is currently the only 737-800 route out of Atlanta for American. Meanwhile, here we have the 321, the most common aircraft for American out of Atlanta. This aircraft came in from Phoenix and will be going out to Miami. The only other aircraft that you see relatively regularly for American out of Atlanta is the Airbus 319. That's a very common aircraft for them out of Atlanta. Here we have the first of several CRJs for us. Here we have the Delta CRJ 900 that came in from Mobile and we're going out to White Plains. This CRJ 900 came in from Roanoke and we're going out to Wilmington, the one in North Carolina and not Delaware. The CRJ 200 came in from Albany in Georgia and we're going out to Valdasta, also in Georgia. The CRJ 170 came in from Lexington and we're going out to Hilton Head Island Airport the reason for the Hilton Head Island service on the 170 is because it is a sort field airport and a lot of the CRJs can't really operate into there, so the 170 is used instead. So Delta has very few 170 flights out of here. Sometimes they sell Chicago Midway as well for similar reasons, but generally you don't see 170s out of Atlanta that much, but they do sell about two or three routes on a regular basis. Speaking of aircraft, here's one that's making a comeback. The CRJ-700, this aircraft came in from Alexandria, Louisiana, and we're going out to Mobile in Alabama. The 700s are becoming more common once again out of Atlanta, and so these aircraft are starting to see more normal service out of Atlanta. During the pandemic, these were all pulled out, but they are starting to sell up now every so often with the D-12 that are operated by Endeavor Air. Here we have a 737-800, which came in from Lexington, and we're going out to Indianapolis. Your eyes do not deceive you. That is, in fact, not a Delta 757 parked at this gate. Where I've been parking a Delta 75 for such a long time. This gate actually has two parking lines. There's the 75 line, and then there's the regular main line line, which I'm now parking this aircraft at the regular main line line. This is a Delta 8321. He came in from Phoenix or Red River Aviation's airport, and he'll be going out to Dallas Fort Worth or also Red River Aviation's model airport. Next up here we have the United Airbus 319. This aircraft came in from Houston George Bus and will be going out to Denver. It's interesting that United has downgazed a lot of services here to Atlanta. Not as many 739s or 738s as they were operating just a couple months ago. Speaking of downgauge, here comes a United 737-700 in the Star Alliance livery pushing back for a flight out to Washington Dulles. And then we have another United 737-700 which is being loaded up for a flight out to Newark. There are some A320s that are operating. You'll see a good number of those, but of course I do not have a United A320 here right now. So here we have the first of several interesting new A350 routes. 
Delta is flying the A350 here for the one that's pushing back right now. This aircraft is about to head out to Athens, Greece, and it came in from Tel Aviv, Israel earlier. It is interesting to see Delta bringing the A350 to a lot more routes. There are so many A350s now out of Atlanta. A lot of this actually has to do with the fact that Delta has recently put into service the former LATAM Airbus 350. So that brings them several more aircraft they can use for routes. And so Delta is operating a lot of their 350s out of Atlanta now, including new sources to Tel Aviv and the upgrade to Athens on the A350 for the summer schedule. You can definitely tell the summer schedule is starting to come into effect here with a lot of international travel anticipated for the summer season. And Delta has brought in the X latam A350s in preparation. Next up, we got a line here of 757s and a A320 in the back. But here we go, here's a 757-200 which came in from Pittsburgh and will be going out to Norfolk or JT Pilots Airport. It's really cool to see the Norfolk service and Pittsburgh now on the 757-200. Next up, we got 757-200 to Birmingham and he came in from Jackson about an hour ago. Yes, that is right. Delta's using 757s to Birmingham, Alabama. Would have never thought that would happen, but wilder things have happened and here we go, 757s to Birmingham. And then the last 75, we have a 757200, which came in from Fort Lauderdale, and it'll be going out to Santa Ana or Red River Aviations Airport. Yes, there are 75s without windlets still flying around for Delta. Not too many of them, maybe about four or five or six of them, but there are still some flying around that you can see going mostly in the southeast, but they do do occasional transcon flights. Finally, then the back corner, we got an Airbus 320. There are too many of these out of Atlanta, but there are still some. This aircraft came in from Oklahoma City and he'll be going out to New York LaGuardia. Next up we got the Delta 767-400 in the Sky Team livery. This aircraft came in from Buenos Aires and he'll be going out to Raleigh Durham. So this aircraft actually did fly into Atlanta as, as Delta Flight 9962 from Raleigh Durham. This was a repositioning flight. As Raleigh Durham and Cincinnati get the 767-400s to Paris, they do occasionally need to relocate these aircraft to Atlanta and so they did send a relocation flight from Raleigh to Atlanta on the 764 which is super cool. Here we go the A330-300. This is an aircraft that is not being utilized as much of Atlanta because the A350 and the 767-300 are taking a lot of its routes. But there are still two flights today you can see coming in to Atlanta. There is a Amsterdam flight and a Rome flight. So this aircraft came from Amsterdam and he'll be going out to Rome. This is all you can see really flying in for the A330-300 and then you do still see that Lagos and Frankfurt flight on the A330-200. But outside of that, that is it for the A330s into Atlanta. Not as many A330s flying in right now to Atlanta, it just so it is how Delta is currently positioning their fleet. On the taxiway, we got the CRJ-900. This aircraft came in from Charleston, West Virginia. I'll be going out to Shreveport later today. Over here at my hard stand parking, we got some more aircraft. Here we got the 757-200. This aircraft came in from Chicago, Ohio, and we're going out to Baltimore, Thorgood. Really cool to see these two sources getting upgrades to the 757-200. That is great to see. Here we have the Delta Thank You A321. This aircraft came in from West Palm Beach, and we're going out to Boston. I do believe the West Palm Beach service is an upgrade from, I think it was, a 737-800 before. Also at the hard stands, I'm putting the, uh, we we'll call them Lesser Airlines or the ULCCs. Here are the Spirit A320 Neo, which came in from Los Angeles and we're going out to Fort Lauderdale. And then here we have the Frontier Airbus 320, who came in from San Jose, Costa Rica, and we'll be going out to Dallas, Fort Worth. That brings us on nicely to the last two aircraft in this video. Here we have the UPS 767-300, who'll be going out to Philadelphia. A lot of the aircraft that fly out for UPS out of Atlanta are E300s, but they do have a couple 767s, mostly going to Philly here. You can see they're loading up. And then finally, we do of course have this Delta A350-900. This aircraft came in from Los Angeles and he's loading up for a flight out to Lima, Peru. Really cool to see the Lima Solis getting upgazed here to the A350. This was on the 76, but it is now on the Airbus 350 for the summer schedule. Really cool to see so many awesome routes flying for Delta on this 350. I need to get the rest of my Delta 350s over here because they are flying a ton of great routes out of Atlanta. They're flying to Dublin, Amsterdam, 
Detroit, Seattle. They're flying to a lot of great places. Santiago, Amsterdam. Tons of great sources. It wouldn't surprise me if Paris comes back. I think Paris is back on the 350 as well. So tons of great 350 sources. Some others I wanted to mention here that are non-Delta services. And I'm putting these on the screen as well so you can see these from Flight Radar. But there are some other great sources that are flying in now. These include the Korean Air Boeing 747-800. That is right, Korean Air now flies to Atlanta on the 747. I have to get a model of this now. <laughs> but really cool to see Korean Air flying Atlanta the 747-8. I may actually try and hop on this flight just for the entertainment of it because I would love to fly a Korean Air 747. Of course, KLM is on the 333. Air France is flying a huge variety of aircraft. They're flying the 222. A350-900 and the 787-9 depending on the day. Qatar Airways is flying the 777-300ER. I do need to get a Qatar 777 model. Now uh, they're cutting grass below. Virgin Atlantic is starting to fly the A330neo in from London Heathrow. So I do need to get that Gemini Jets recent release now because they are flying those in. I also need to get a Your Wings Discovery A330 because they fly from Frankfurt. Lufthansa does not fly in to Atlanta at all now. Instead, they're using their secondary brand, Your Wings Discovery, to do it. British Airways is currently using the 777-200. I do not have a 777-200 for BA right now. Similar thing with uh, Turkish Airlines. I don't really have any Turkish Airlines models at all, but uh, they're currently flying the A350-900. So that's another model I need to chase down to go grab. It just sort of is what it is with these airports. You kind of need to chase models to get what you need for your international flights. But it's a lot of fun, and my Delta fleet's pretty good. So I just really need to focus on a lot of the international airlines. I've got KLM pretty much down. So I'm going to be working on uh, some of the other airlines to get those caught up. And um, BA, I'm pretty decent with those. But again, it seems like whatever they're flying in right now is a model I don't have. You know, I have a lot of British Airways models. So it just is what it is. When you're trying to build your airport, there are just models you need to go after, and sometimes you gotta wait for them to be released, or you gotta go after an older release. It just is what it is. So that's what's happening in at Atlanta. Hope y'all enjoyed this little model overview of Atlanta Hartsfield Jackson International Airport. With that, I wanna thank y'all so much for watching this video. Have a great rest of your day, and God bless you.